Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom and today I am going to show you how to sync your video effects to any song you would like to use um, in order to maybe create a montage or something. Um, yeah, first of all, just drag and drop, uh, import a video file, which I used here, and a song you would like to have and just go play it. Yep, very much beautiful, but yeah, as you see, I already added some real smart motion blur. You don't have to, you just can leave the clip as you want. So, first of all, what you want to do is uh, go onto your actual song, right click keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes. What you will get is an audio amplitude. You can just uh, delete the left and the right channel so that you just have both channels with the slider. Uh, actually, you can see it like here, this number is just increasing or decreasing during playing the video because you created a null object and yeah, so on. So just go to effects, both channels and here you go to slider. Just open this thing. Now you want to go to the graph editor so that you can actually see what you're editing. So. Um, this thing right here is 59.94 units and actually these are the heights so I think something average something around 30 35 I could say yeah 35 should be okay so type in linear value comma go to the number the lowest number you want to have so that would be 35 in my <coughs> composition and then go to the highest well have a look at it yeah I, I see it it's something around 60 yeah something around 60 um i'm gonna type in 62 maybe and then go to zero and 100 of course the lowest thing will be turned to zero and the highest the maximum will be turned to 100. So after you did that, just leave the bracket as it is. That's all you have to do for this step. So what you could easily do now is another solid. Uh, I'm just going to do this as a black solid. Now you can go to uh, press T for opacity. Just go. Alt click on the stopwatch and then just okay open this layer once again and just drag the this little squirrely thing onto the slider. That's actually all you have to do. It's going to take a minute to render out, and the result will be that you have these flashes as you can see here. I don't know how it's going to look like, so I'm just going to render it out now. Just as I said, you can do this with quite every effect. Yeah. Seems legit, but I, uh, I don't I don't really like it in the end. But let's, let's just have a look. I don't really know. Yeah, just as I said, right from the drop on, right from the drop on, that should mean something somewhere around here. It doesn't really fit any longer, but in, in the first minutes, it really does fit. So if you would just have another look at it, it just looks awesome. Go ahead. Okay, so that is actually what you have to do. You can do this with every, 
every effect just going to uh, add a new adjustment layer and put on the looks because I just want to try it out with another plugin. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Can take a while, my PC is not the best. Okay. Yeah. Can take a while. Come on. Yeah, man, I know it. Just go ahead. Okay, so here we actually go. Just want to add the blockbuster. That that really looks epic. So as I just did in the last thing, or we could even just go to the power mask. I don't know. Ellipse. Can we enlarge this? I, I wonder. I never did this. I really didn't ever do this. Invert mask. Oh, this kind of looks nice. Apply mask only, red mask, I don't know. Feather size is five. That actually looks good. Yeah. Okay. Don't want to see it all the time though. Ah, nah. Don't have to do this. Just going to restore this to default because I don't really want to use the feather mask. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do the same thing with the opacity thing and you can do this with several effects as you can see. I'm just going to render it out. Oh god, that is going to look epic. Epic. Wow, god damn it. That is actually going to look epic. Yeah, and just as I said, you can do this with every effect uh, and every plugin. Yeah, it just totally works fine if you just do it right like I told you. And uh, you shouldn't get any trouble with this. Um, if you have any questions, then you can just send me a private message. I would like to answer anyone's question. Come on, render a little faster. Should be possible. Just have to render a few frames to the drop and right there we go. Yeah, I know it's just because of the looks. Everything is just looking more blockbuster and uh, epic and yeah. Yeah, that's enough and that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, as always, it would really help me out a lot. Uh, yeah, have a nice weekend. Bye bye.